Back in September, the Jaguars lost their last matchup against the Colts. Can Indianapolis sweep the series? Find out next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Just a short time ago, smoke from the pyrotechnics filled the dome as the Colts made their way out of the locker room. We're set for football as the Colts get set to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jaguars, they come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing better than 500 ball the last couple months. Five wins in their last eight games. making their way out and it is Jacob Eason from Washington at quarterback. Partner you know how guys always tell us it's not about the numbers it's about the win. It's about the numbers too. Almost 400 yards passing by him last week early in this game but you like the fact that they're around the football early. They're going to be upset they didn't haul that one in but at least they're there at the moment of truth to make a play on it. Give him just one yard on the return and the Jaguars go on offense first down and ten. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win... Here's Lawrence to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown! A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Jags have taken the early lead. You'd have to imagine for a team that's lost three straight games, scoring first in this first quarter has to feel pretty good. It has to feel great for them, and also it's a nice signal to the rest of the team. Can we tell their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax? And the Jags get to him as down he goes. They're down toward the bottom of the AFC, but you know what they say, especially at this point in the season, watch out for a trap game. And in doing so, I would take my game plan and condense it. I would rely on my fundamentals. The Lawrence with a quick throw outside. That's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Jaguars lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. On third down, it's Robinson, and he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 48 yards. Now Lawrence, and that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Luke Farrell. His second touchdown on the season. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about it, that was a nice play there. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Ben Banagoo just would not be denied. That From the gun on third down, Lawrence. Touchdown! Complete at the one. Robert Tunyon, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Jaguars are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? And they'll indeed take a knee.
They put up their goal at the beginning of the season, and that was to win seven games, and now they've accomplished that mission. And congratulations to them for achieving their goal. They have to finish the season strong, but you've got to think that going forward for next year, they're going to jump that 